Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. We're gonna continue with business logic vulnerabilities. Here, you're gonna learn business logic vulnerabilities or you will die trying. So let's get started. Let's look at the second lab. Okay, what do we have here? The lab says high level logic vulnerability. Hmm, this lab doesn't adequately validate user input. You can exploit a logic flaw in it purchasing workflow to buy items for unintended price to solve the lab buy a lightweight lead leather jacket you can log into your own account using uh, the following credentials okay let's access the lab let's uh, log into our account because we need money right so we don't have any money so peter he has hundred dollars okay let's spend it let's see the workflow let's view details let's uh, add to the cart okay let's go here it's too costly right let's go to bug suite proxy http history this is our home page and uh, this is where we added the product to the cart so let's uh, send it to repeater okay as you can see this is the product with this much quantity we added to the cart okay so this is that request so what else do we have uh, rest is normal because this is just a get cart so there we are just getting information so we are not sending any information okay like this so what we have to do now is let's try to add something and let's see what happens okay we have added something and as you can see this is the post request that adds one quantity and redirects back to the cart what if we remove one quantity okay let's see that removing one quantity okay we're back here let's see this particular post request as you can see we have a negative one hmm that's interesting which means we can send negative values to remove one quantity we can add positive quantities to add some quantity okay so let's send it to the repeater as well okay so this is add or remove quantity right and this one is add to cart okay so we have already tried adding and removing from here so let's try this one okay what if we send a negative quantity here so it should look something like this okay negative quantity okay let's see what happens okay we have uh, something here but did something happen in the web application let's reload this and see what happens okay so it just uh, removed that quantity let's try to send this one again and see what happens so it is able to send negative values still hmm? that's interesting let's see what happens in the web application okay we have a negative quantity being added hmm, that's interesting and it is just multiplying this with this to get this value hmm that's interesting so let's do one thing let's go to home page let's add uh, this one because lightweight leaf leather jacket is what we want this is where the magic is it is showing zero but it is the summation of all the products okay so we already have a negative product we should have a positive product and uh, the summation of those two things will result in zero okay so if you click on this you can see that both products exist okay so what we can do is we need to get this value below this hundred dollars so how can we get that we can get that using this particular product okay we can keep on adding this product until our total value is less than the store credit so let's zoom in let's add a lot of quantity i just did a reverse of this so you can actually click keep clicking this but uh, I don't actually recommend it because we can use this one right so what I'll do is I'll add like uh, uh, some 10 from some 15 quantity okay so let's send it make sure it is negative 15 okay let's reload this and as you can see we have uh, around 500 dollars still so let's add 15 more just reload this so it is negative 223 dollars 
okay so you need to add few more quantity to compensate this okay so you cannot purchase something negatively okay so it, it needs to be positive and it needs to be less than this value so just keep adding few quantity and finally we got 45 dollars so what this will do is this will just uh, simply neglect this one but purchase this one at 45 dollars okay so let's place the order and we solve the lab make sure you try all the parameters with uh, all the positive values negative values whatever you can think of okay uh, previous one we had a price manipulation so now we don't have any price manipulation we have a quantity manipulation okay so you need to think outside of the box in real world we don't have a negative quantity right we don't uh, have a negative pen or pencil right but in digital world we do have a negative quantity all right then i'll see you guys in the next video